a little more to your right. It's all right. Okay. Not over here. Keep moving. Good. There you go. Uh, Keep moving. such a good person it's because um i had a hell of a child i had um, um four different fathers um, um my mother was my father's an alcoholic but he was not violent my mother was a violent alcoholic and also an abuser of prescription drugs and i had a younger brother five years younger a younger sister so i became a practical psychologist because my mom would Smashed my head against the wall, thought I was bleeding, put liquid soap down my throat till I threw up, thinking I was lying about something I wasn't lying about. So it was pretty brutal, but the beauty that came out of it was it made me understand, want to understand human beings, what makes them do what they do, how to shift it, how to influence it. Um, and if my mom had been the mother I'd hoped she'd been, I wouldn't be the man I am today, which I'm proud to be. So. Uh, God has, the universe has a unique way of um, guiding you if you pay attention to resources. And I, I became resourceful out of pretty much a necessity. Today, I just hate seeing people suffer and I love to see people lit up. And most people settle for far less than who they are capable of being, who I think they really are in their heart and their soul. And so I bring people strategies and tools to improve their body, their emotions, their relationships, their finances. Uh, the areas of life that I think man the most, I don't think most achievers, I, I perceive you to be an achiever, I certainly am. We would never say we suffer, you know? You get stressed, right? You may get a little frustrated at times. But if I follow the trail of your stress, it'll take me to your deepest fears. And I always believe that Life is the dance between what you desire most and what you fear most. That's where people play. And so I like to dig underneath and find that. So you see people suffering, you know, like billionaire clients will call me up and want me to help them with some business aspect. And I kind of see myself as a Trojan horse, just telling you off camera. Um, I, I go in there to give people what they say they want, but then I deliver what they really need. And what we all need is a life that's more meaningful, a life that's more fulfilling. You also see people suffering over the littlest stuff. We live in a world where 50% of the planet lives on $2.50 a day, 900 bucks a year. And most people worry about their finances. And I think we want to do well in that area. I've put focus on how to help people in that area. But to suffer, is just to miss the beauty of this moment, miss the beauty of your life. And I'm obsessed with, if I can't find ecstasy in this moment here with you, as weird as that may sound, <laughs> if I can't enjoy this moment thoroughly, more accolades, more economics, more business, more whatever is not going to make your life any better. But if you can enjoy each moment and you can let go of the brain does when it starts to make up all these stories that you're stressing yourself out about, then if there's a problem, you'll handle that problem from a different place, as opposed to trying to handle the problem from feeling weak or tired or exhausted or stressed or pissed off or whatever it is to be. But it's different for everybody, but it's the mind. You know, your brain, my brain is two million years old, and it's not designed to make you happy, right? It's designed to make you survive. Happiness is your job. The brain's not going to do that. The brain is always looking for what's wrong and have a fight or a flight for that, right? It's survival. And since there's no saber-toothed tiger for us to deal with anymore, now we worry about what are people thinking of us? Or, you know, do I make enough money? Or will this person stay with me? And all these things that the mind does. And so the mind's always going to do that. It's learning how to train yourself with a new set of habits to look at it, to be entertained by the mind, 
and to know that you're more than your mind. You know, um, I teach people techniques on how to use their body to change the mind. Because you try to just manipulate your thoughts, you can kind of find yourself going in circles. We've all rationalized a million things. But I found that when you physiologically, when you focus on the heart, when you breathe in the heart, there's scientific studies that show that when you're really stressed, I could take your EEG and your EKG, the electrical pulses in your brain and your heart, and they look very jagged, they look nothing like each other. If all you do is physically touch your heart and concentrate on your heart and breathe in your heart and for two minutes think of three things you're grateful for, simplistic as that sounds, I can show you, I can line you up and you'll see EEG and EKG, first of all, go from jagged to rounded and then they literally become identical in sync. And when they're in sync, that's when you're in that flow state. That's when like the perfect words come through you. And you're like, where'd that come from? I like that. You know? That's when stress disappears. That's when you come up with that brilliant idea you've been trying to find. And you're in the zone, but you can put yourself in the zone rather than hoping the zone shows up. I'm not here to be their guru. I'm not here to teach them to be like me. I'm here to help them unleash or reconnect to the greatest resourcefulness that's in every one of us. And they're all different. They're all different.